Hey everyone, Dr. Frank Pond here, and I've got a little surprise for you. Well, typically you could probably always see what the surprise is, but this is Portal Stories. Mel. Anyway, this is a, a mod for Portal 2, and it's been very well received, shall I say. Um, if you want to play this mod for yourself, you can find it on Steam, actually. So, anyway, enough of me blabbering on. Let's go. Let's start a new game. Now, a little thing about this is, I am absolutely terrible at puzzle games. I could be standing in one position for about five days trying to figure out what to do. So, please bear with me. If you want, you can scream in the comments as much as you want. Yeah. Won't help, but it'll probably help you. Huh. Chapter 1. 1952. Is this thing on? Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. Do you? You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. I bet I'll... Oh. Oh, yeah. Th yeah, this is beautiful. Beautiful music. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Do, 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 do. Listen. I wonder if it's copyrighted. I hope it's not. Sweet Jesus, please don't be copyrighted. Hello? Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> but, oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> well, then. That was uh, very. very cave like. Can I get out yet? Yes? Yeah, I can get out because I've got another loading screen. Well, so far, this is looking beautiful. I've heard some... well, not really heard. Oh, um, I read some comments that this game is harder than Portal 2, but it's not so hard that you'd be standing there for about five days trying to figure out what to do. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Great. What? Insane. Ingest your own aperture cola. Huh. I need money. Ooh. Ah, the toilets. Ah. Oh. But this one. Nope. Nope. Oh, of course. How about can I get a ticket? Hello. 
and he's fast asleep. Pretty much like me when I'm at college. Fast asleep. Or just or should I say on the bus? Let's have a look at this some of these images. Oh, I'm going outside! Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. I'll, um, I'll, I'll try. I'm not exactly gonna say yeah or no, but I'll try. Look at these really old cars. I mean, it is 1950, was it? I think it was 1950. I jump. I could jump great. Aperture science. Uh, Inventors, in, in, I think it is. I'm not good with English. I'm not good at all. Let's look around. I want to break and destroy everything. How the hell did you get into this building? There's no door. Hello? Can I break him through here? Nope, apparently not. Hello? Hmm. Well then. Welcome, test subjects. Please sign in with a re receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. Well, I'm gonna go left, because screw you. Oh. I can actually push these. I wonder if there's going to be a secret. Secrets galore. Ah, I like this music. I think this is um this music's made by um Harry Harry UK on YouTube. I think it is. Don't quote me, but I think. I'll just get my own receipt, okay? Right, okay then. What's with all, why are these doors locked? God, I'm trying to explore. I really hope there's some kind of secret with these things, and I'm not just pushing random buttons for some random no purpose. Open sesame. There's actually people around this place. Another one. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no, the zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chickened out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <clears throat> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Okay, Cave. I really hope these buttons actually do something. But knowing me, I'm, knowing me I've probably missed about five of them already. <laughs> has somebody got some, has somebody got like 10 cents? <clears throat> oh my god, of the bottle opener! Jesus, this thing is full of everything. Can I break in? Um, I wonder if we can actually still see the salt mines. Cause that'd be amazing. Ah, uh, good thing about this recording. I haven't even set a, um, a, a stopwatch to see how long I'm playing. Cause I don't exactly care. Oh, oh well, we're going down. 
Down, please. Mm. Please keep your legs inside the elevator. What? How do I forget my legs out? Or off, should I say? God, these things have got quick loading screens. I like it. Hereafter, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. With what? Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss me. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. But I hire a fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. And that's good. How? You're gonna you're gonna chuck me in a tube and just freeze me. And can I say about, about the design so far? Damn. J just damn. It looks amazing. Seriously, I'm, I'm astonished. I get astonished easily. Hello, person. Are we there yet? I mean, come on. It's one long ass elevator. Yeah, to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Yeah, I am. I'm a winner. I'm the winner here. Though I still have a bad feeling about this. Ah, the future of tomorrow starts today. This thing's still going. How far am I going down? Hello! Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Bit bloody time. Nearly fell asleep. Oh, I panicked then. I thought he sent me back. Well, I say it once again. So far, this is amazing. Hello? So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. 